I know many things, for I walk by night. I know many strange tales hidden in the hearts of men and women who have stepped into the shadows. Yes, I know the nameless terrors of which they dare not speak. Murder doesn't always choose a glamorous setting. But often the time and the place are dependent on opportunity. Ralph Fenton's opportunity had come in the early hour before dawn. And there's only one problem ahead of you now, isn't there, Ralph? Escape. Did you enjoy the morning papers? Morning papers? Gunther. He was after your scalp once, wasn't he? Not seriously, Edna. After all, a DA's assistant is a pretty small size. Only you're not displeased about what happened last night. Frankly, no. I think he had it coming to him. Political pressure man. Pulling strings. Making the little puppets jump just to keep their jobs. And you figure one of them got tired jumping. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Chief in? He just got back from the interrogation room. Suspect? Already? Hmm. I take it easy, Ralph. Mr. Ansley wastes very little love on you. Feeling is mutual. I'll save all mine for you. Morning, Chief. You're a little late, aren't you, Fenton, considering? Well, I heard you had it all wrapped up. Not according to the witness. Witness? Yeah. A girl named Paula Layton says she got a clear look at the killer. Lieutenant Reese is bringing her up now. Uh-huh. Well, look, Chief, uh, you don't mind? I got a few things I'd like to cover. Much I'll all stick around, will you? I may need you on this case. You knew Gunther pretty well. Oh, oh yeah. Here. Rough knife. You know how those things are. The lieutenant says you want to see me, Mr. Anthony. Yes, Miss Layton. Won't you sit down? Hold attentive the chair, please. I understand that this report on Tony Ferris means nothing. You saw him downstairs? Yes, I saw him. And he's not? He's not your man, no. You're positive, of course, that you could make the identification. Quite. It would be a great help to us, you know. Yes, I know. Is uh, this another suspect? Oh, I'm sorry. This is Ralph Fenton, one of my assistants. Mr. Fenton, Miss Layton. How do you do, Mr. Fenton? Miss Layton? Now, as I was saying, if you could identify the killer for us when you see him, I... Miss Layton. Miss Layton. 
Well, oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of something else. You understand my position, I'm sure. Jim Gunther had friends, political friends, but nevertheless... I, I understand perfectly, Mr. Angley, and uh, you can count on me to make the identification when you can show me the right man. Lieutenant Reese tells me you saw the killer hiding from the night watchman. That's right, and I'm very anxious to identify him. You see, I, I knew Jim Gunther. Oh? Not well, of course. We were just fellow yachtsmen. I see. Well, if there's nothing further... Not at this time. Thank you for coming in. I'm sure the lieutenant has your address. Yes, and uh, in case of an emergency, you can always try my boat. It's called the Cup of Gold. It's a very interesting name. from the yacht harbor has you confused, hasn't she, Ralph? Confused and afraid. That's why you must find out exactly how much she saw the night you killed James Gunther. Why she didn't identify you. Hello? Hello? Well, I've been expecting you, Mr. Fenton. Oh? Well. I see a woman's work is never done, huh? Now, watch the paint. Nor a man's. He's not in the boat. What's the matter? Chilly? Perhaps. Maybe it's the company. Meaning? Meaning we, we both know who killed James Gunther. Maybe we'd better get aboard. If it's money. Money? Do I look like a girl in need? No. But just where is this cup of gold that you do pour from? The late Jim Gunther? Jim Gunther and I were sort of neighbors. Although I can't say I've never been one to look over the back fence. I saw you visit Jim many times. Well, that was just official business. He's always in some kind of trouble. On the contrary, he was never in trouble. Not as long as he had a boy in the DA's office. You. You seem pretty well informed. I said we were neighbors. Jim used to drop in occasionally to uh, borrow a cup of sugar, things like that. Uh, he liked to talk, brag occasionally about the deals he was pulling. You believed him? He appeared to be living well. So you suspected a, a graft? Ralph, with Jim Garner, I would very much enjoy your friendship. I, I'd like to, but I, I don't care. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. A, a girl like me never knows when she'll need a friend. In the DA's office. I think you'll agree when we get better acquainted. Oh, Turner, I'd like you to check a driver's license for me with motor vehicles. Yes, sir. Made out to Paula Layton, L-A-Y-T-O-N. I'm interested in her fingerprints. Paula Layton. Right. Yes, sir.
You know, I, I've noticed something different about you, darling. Oh? You seem more... more relaxed. I like you much better this way. Well, thank you. Yes, I... I think I could actually become very fond of you. Mm-hmm. Even your work is interesting. Yes, it is sometimes. Take this afternoon. I got a very interesting message from New Orleans. Oh? It was about a certain young lady. It seems as though she'd run into some difficulties down there. A bribery charge. How unfortunate. It had to do with an official and certain building contracts, construction jobs. So, uh, you thought you might find something you could hold over my head. I'm in the clear on that score, Ralph. Nothing can touch me. Paula, just what do you want? I told you, I just want to be good friends. You want to see me, Chief? Yes, Fenton. Come on in, sit down. Fenton? I wasn't aware that this office was investigating Paula Layton. Well, uh, just a routine check. Thought it might be a good idea. Why? Well, you didn't seem too sold on her story about her seeing Gunther's killer. So? I uh, didn't see any harm on checking on her, that's all. However, I, I didn't turn up very much. On the contrary. Oh, uh, except for that bribery charge. According to the New Orleans police, this girl's been in trouble in other cities on other charges. Perjury, for one. Oh, I didn't know that. Been pretty lucky, though. Seems she's always had some influential friend to go to bat for. I see. I've got a hunch she knows more about this Gunther case than she's told us. Uh -huh. You want me to study up on the report and follow through? Oh, never mind. I'll handle it. No use bothering her if she's behaving herself. If she isn't, we'll nail her fast. Yeah. Well, is that all you wanted to see me about? That's all. You're afraid, aren't you, Ralph? If Ansley decides to go after Paula, and the pressure on her becomes too great, she's liable to talk. You're going to have to watch the district attorney closely the next few days. Know his every move. But how, Ralph? How? Edna? Seems to me I recall a couple of promises we made to each other. Oh? Yeah. I was going to take you out to dinner, and you were going to have me over for a home-cooked meal. <laughs> I remember. Well, you know, there, there are times when bachelors dream about things like that. Well, all right, Ralph. What are we going to do about it? Well, how about tonight? My half of the bargain. Well, I can't think of a single thing to stop me. Oh, that girl. I'll pick you up out front, huh? About 5.30? Oh, it'll be 7 or 8, if I'm lucky. Don't worry. I'll still be there. around the place. Nothing more. Edna, there have been many, many other things I've noticed about you, too. When you have a new dress, when you have your hair fixed differently, 
That funny little way that you tilt your head to the side when you're, when you're annoyed. I don't believe a word you're saying. Don't stop. I love it. I mean it, Edna. Do you, Ralph? Of course. Well, it just goes to show you how mistaken a gal can be. Well, Ansley may think you're just a fixture, but little Ralph doesn't. Oh, I'm sure he doesn't. When I said that, I was... I was only joking. Don't, uh... Don't quit on me now, pal. We're both doing okay. soon be on your side. And that's so very important. You must keep a step ahead of the district attorney. Be in a position to block any attempt to connect you with that night at the Yacht Harbor on James Gunther's boat. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Is, uh, anything up? Hmm. Pretty soft, huh? I wish I had a mountain cabin to hire off to. <laughs> Are you ready? As soon as I get someone to deliver this. What's that for, the chief? Lieutenant Reese brought it up. I phoned the lodge. Mr. Ansley wants it delivered at once. Uh, wait a minute. What is it? Maybe I better be your errand boy, huh? It might be important. Look, how about taking a rain check on our luncheon day? Looks as if I'll have to. <laughs> considerate of you to give up your Saturday afternoon, bring me that report. I just thought it might be important. It is, very. Reese and I were checking on the movements of the Layton girl back to the night of the murder. Oh, you been having a fellow? We were, but we learned all we need to know. You've been uh, seeing quite a lot of her, haven't you? Well, she, she isn't unattractive. Her record is. Reese found out she'd been working with Gunther all along. What? Right. Yeah, they were quite a team. Oh, that perjury charge against her was a cover-up for one of Gunther's out-of-town deals. She's been working with Gunther all along? That's right. What do you plan on doing? Well, I want to think it through. I'll probably call in and have her picked up. Picked up? On what charge? Maybe, uh... Murder. Murder? Oh, you don't think that, that she killed Gunther? No. Maybe if she's faced with a murder charge, she'll open up, talk. I don't follow you. That hunch of mine, don't you remember? She knows more about this Gunther case than she's told us. Like, maybe, uh, who the killer is. That's right. I see. You know, she's been working with Gunther for a long time. She probably knows the whole setup from stem to stern. All the people involved, the ones Gunther used to keep dangling on the end of a string. You feel if you put enough pressure on Miss Layton, uh, she'll open up. That's right, Fenton. I wouldn't plan on that too much, if I were you. Oh? No, she uh, doesn't seem to me to be the type that scares too easily. Really, Fenton? Well, it's just that I've been seeing her. Talked to her a couple of times. Yes, I know. 
impression I got, that's all. She seems pretty sure of herself. Confident. If you know what I mean. I do. But I've handled people like her before, haven't I? Oh, sure, but... Uh... Well, then don't concern yourself with the matter. I'll handle it. You just stay away from the girl. Yes, sir. Well, I'd better be on my way back to town. And by all means. Oh, Fenton. Yeah. You got a date? Yes, sir. Oh, no, no. It's not the late moment, if that's what you mean. It's dead, isn't it? Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. I don't mean to pry, but I just couldn't help notice the uh, sudden interest there. Well, well, she's a fine girl. She is. She's a very fine girl. And I'm very fond of her. Yes, sir. I'll be on my way. Thank you for bringing the report. Mm -hmm. Almost certain what the DA will decide, aren't you, Ralph? Yes. He'll phone the office, give orders to have Paula picked up. And you're afraid she'll talk. That's something you've got to prevent. You've got to warn her. Get her to leave town. chasing me, no thanks. But Ansley knows you were involved with Gunther. So what? So he can make it plenty tough for you, for both of us. If I've even seen with you once again. Sorry. Nothing's going to change my plan. So you're going to take up where Gunther left off. Right. I know the ropes, the right people. Including me? Oh, look, look, Paula, forget it. Get out while you can. What's the matter? Right, I'll talk? Don't worry. Then you're not leaving? No. Sorry, Paula. You leave me no choice. Ralph, well, I warn you, don't don't try anything. now, aren't you, Ralph? And you feel safe, certain that there's little chance of connecting you to the death of Paula Layton. What are you talking about? I just got the call from the harbor police. Well, uh, look, look, Reese, I can explain it. Can you? You'll have your chance, of course. They all do. Only I don't think we'll turn up anyone else running around in wet clothes with a paint smear from a cup of gold. Reese. Reese, whatever made you come by here? When I got the word on Paula Layton, I wanted somebody from the district attorney's office to be informed. 
They couldn't reach Ansley. They said his phone was out of order. 